So hello everybody, in today's video I am going to show you how you can go around the limitation that Power Query has when you're trying to enter data directly to where like hard coding it. Let me show you. So we go here into Power BI and then we go to um, Power Query. So here you have enter data. So this is a way to get data directly into Power BI without having to have any connection to any source. So basically like you hard coded it inside. And I wanted to get this data, data from this file in there. It is 2,475 rows. So we're going to go there, we're going to paste it. And then it says the clipboard contents are too large to be pasted into the table. Please split your data into multiple tables with less than 3,000 cells. So it seems like the limitation is 3,000 cells. Uh, you can then combine them into a single table in Power Query. It's quite cool, actually, that not only they tell you what the problem is, what the limitation is, the 3,000 cells, but also how you can fix it. I wish all errors were like this. Now, here's the thing. This is something that stumped me. It said, 3,000 cells seems to be the limitation. And it's not saying 3,000 rows. And the fact is that I have a 2,475 rows and I cannot put it in. So he's saying 3,000 cells. So I said, hey, mm. so it is the amount, that's what I was guessing. It's like, is every one of these is a cell? So it's not allowing me to do it. So what happens if I just get that file, save it as a CSV, and then try to put it in because you know what CSV does. No, you don't see it here if you open. I, now I saved it to a CSV. You can see it up here. But if we open it, for example, in Notepad, so you can see the actual CSV format. You see, everything is in one cell, comma separated. That's what CSVs are, and they remove all the formatting and all that stuff. So if we try to get the CSV format into Power BI. Let's see what it does. Did it paste? Yeah, it is pasting. <laughs> okay. Did uh, you see? My dear, get away. This is the first one has been promoted. I don't want to promote it. You don't want to promote it to headers either because when you are then separating the commas, you want the header to be separated too. So this is the way to do it. And now as you can see, it's follow everything. So if you hit that limitation, think about it. Do you, how many cells versus how many rows and convert everything to one cell in Excel and then you're good to go. So I hope this trick is useful for you. Uh, it definitely saved me when I was trying to do this. So quick tip, quick tip anyway. I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.